Okay, everybody, we are continuing on on our daily tangles in the letter D. Today is going along with kind of those daisy things. It's Days E Fleur by Erica Bonham. Um, another grid pattern. Like I said before, what the heck with the grid patterns? I guess I'm meant to practice grid patterns. Okay, so uh, you draw yourself a grid. Within that grid, you want the four squares. That's the important part. This is gonna be a four square grid tangle. So you can either draw your grid and then divide it into four squares or just draw your four, just draw your grid and then use four squares at a time. Uh, sorry about the glare, you know, me and my window. Uh, so it looks like the first thing we do, oh, golly. Maybe if I set it down like that, you can see. First thing we do is to go across two of the squares like this with at a diagonal. And on the other two squares, we put like this little loop. And then we aura. There's two aura here. See that? Two and two. So that's pretty easy to remember. If you can remember doing this diagonal and the loop, and then you aura two and two. And then just like the previous one we just did, which for some reason I can't find. I must have taken it with me somewhere because I can't find it. Um, you fill in every other square like that. So, and then you shade. So there's variations um, on shading. There's variations on uh, filling in. Instead of filling in here and here, doing it like this and filling in like that, that would totally make it look different. Um, here's the sample with a little bit of, ah, I am so sorry about the glare. Every time the sun moves, so every, every time I do a new, a new, um, a new video, it's a different time of day. And so I have to hold things differently. Sorry about that folks. Um, so here's my, uh, the sample. And it's just done slightly different in each one. I'm going to, you know me, I like to, to kind of change things up a little. So we'll see what I end up doing. Um, I really like it when I do those ones where I have a, a single one in the middle of a pattern and then do it smaller in the background. And I think I'll probably do that again because... It really is something I would like. Let me dig through my recent ones and see if I can find something similar. Like when I did this one. I like having the one pattern in the middle and then doing it smaller in the background. That one was a little bit tighter than I had anticipated it was going to come out, but you know. <clears throat> I think I'll do something like that. Um, go ahead and draw my reference here. I think this time I'm going to put my Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do.
No. <clears throat> no, that'll be too small. Don't want to make it too small. I did that on that other one. That was not good. No, that won't that won't come out right. All right, let's try this again. That's not what I had in my head. I have something in my head this time. It just doesn't seem to want to come out properly. Let's let's try again. I think my problem is I'm trying too hard to make it even. So I'm gonna. Let's try this again. I'm going to put my my focus square right here. And then I'll do that. And then I'll do So that's going to be like that. And then I want smaller. Um, but I don't want half. That's, oh, I, I see what my issue is. I'm trying to line this up and I shouldn't. Make it, make it whatever size I want. Ignoring that. Oh, I know how to do this. Oh my goodness. You guys are just watching all sorts of a mess here. I think I'm going to just start myself over again. Okay. See, this is what happens when you try to plan a Zentangle. You really shouldn't be planning because planning doesn't normally work. Just let it flow. Don't think about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it the size that I want for my background. About like that. Not too small. All right, and then the other way, not too small. That other one I did, I really need to find my 0 0.5 micron, which I didn't have with me. Okay, something like that, similar to that. And then I need to just ignore, I'm just going to use the, edge of one of my things and I'm going to ignore my lines and I'm just going to make an approximate square. Forget that. That's not helping me. Um, okay. Like this and like this and then it Erase this middle part. That's working. Oh, look at that. That worked better. And then do this one. Half. Like that. That was what I had in mind. It just took me a minute to get there because, you know, I'm not mathematically inclined. Artistically inclined instead. All right. So let's just draw, I am going to, the light's not very good today. Do I have my light on? I do. Okay, it's just weird.
So November is like quickly zooming by, isn't it? Can't believe it. Okay, so approximately like this, and like this, and like this, and that. And then this one's approximately like this, and like that, and like that, and that. And then this one, I'm going to do a bigger one. There we go. That was what I had envisioned. Get rid of my reference marks that are going to drag me distracting. Okay, first I'm going to do it in the large scale. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit in the large scale quadrant. And we're just going to go across this way. And a loop and a loop. All right? And then or a twice, one and two, one and two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, one. And two. Here we go. That's the main big pattern. Let me back out a little bit so I don't go off screen. Trying really hard not to do that. I moved my camera just slightly. I'm hoping that that will help. I'm as close to the table as I can get it. So we'll see what happens. Um, That way. I think I might do them. No, I'm going to do them all the same. I was going to do them opposites, but I think I'll do them the same. And then this one will be here. This one there? No. Be half a one. It'll be here. I believe so. Okay. I've managed to do something not quite what I had anticipated. So that one goes like that. Let me, let me just turn my page here so it matches. So if that one's got that, and then this one's got this, and that square is that, 
Then this square is this. And this square is this. And if that square is that, then this square is this. Yes. Just trying to keep track of my pattern here. I'm going to do all the diagonals first. go. So depending on how fat you make these, it will change how they look a little bit. Same thing with these little petals. Depending on how big you make them, it will kind of change the look of the tile. See, so I made that one a little bit smaller than that one. got kind of big. Okay. And now I want to do a little shading. A little filling in. Let's see. I do this corner. Actually, on this big one. The big one, I think I might fill it in with the big here. I'm going to take my Sharpie pen to fill because it's a, it's a larger nib. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the variation on this one.
I like that. And then on these, I'm going to do the every other. Every other one. I'm going to switch them up because I don't want that dark next to this one. So I'm going to do it opposite on this one. Same thing on this one. I don't want it here, so I'm going to put it on here. something like that. I like that. Time for some shading. Let's see. I'm going to put the name on here. Um, which corner do I want the big square to be in? Actually, I think I like it like that. that then I'm gonna go ahead and shade give me my pencil first off I want to shade around my this one the deal with this pencil it's got have you ever encountered pencils that have like a little hard spot in them so you're coloring drawing away and and then it like it's hard to describe but it's got like a hard spot in it well, what is with this particular pencil I keep encountering that I don't like it sure want that to kind of like pop off the off the corner like that matter of fact I might even do a little bit just 
on this side and just on the big one. to shade the middles. Like this. Right where they all come together. Okay. That's good. I like that just the way it is. I think, well, actually, it's telling me it needs something else. I'm going to try this just around the outside of those. It's telling me there's too much white space. Maybe if I get these little petals to pop off off the page, it will feel better. Try that. Otherwise, I'll have to get my ink pen out and do something else. But I really don't want to. I feel like this is what it wants. Use my little one. I'm going to use the, the tiny little stump instead of the bigger one just to get in here and just so I don't make a huge, a huge mess out of it. Just want slight. better. That's what it needed. Just a tiny little bit. 
make sure you remember to listen to your tile if you need to you know it it will tell you what it needs um, there's today's tinkle you guys have a really great day and I will see you tomorrow